Seven and nine West Coast, ten to twelve on the East, girl, you better tune into it. And boy, I try to tell you this the new big movement. Sit down and catch a vibe, cause he for foolish foolish. That's what you can bank on to the bank on. Plus the more mob and the rewatch gang strong. You were not tuned in the human with the zombies. I meant zooming with the homies on, man. Hey Tom. <laughs> Hey, y'all. Hey, <laughs> it's me, Ty Davis, and this is another episode of Zooming with the Homies. Now, usually, I think I guest host on Tuesday, so this is super dope um, that this is the final um, Zooming with the Homies of the week, right? So um, to those of you that may not know what's going on, make sure that you check out more to the story. Uh, there's an episode of that out right now. New episode of Wording is Harder with Rob Hayes. And of course, a new episode of Damn Internet, You Scary dropped today. Shout out to the more mob. Shout out to the more moderators. Shout out to the Yamily, the Yam fam. Always love your support. Tonight, we've got an amazing lineup of people. It just so happens that I know the vibe of each of these people. So I'm super excited about this conversation. So without further ado, um, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get these guests up in here. Let's do that. So it was, it was just the one. Okay. Well, listen, the show must go on. So what I will do is, while we're waiting for the other participants, I'm going to go ahead and introduce our first guest. <clears throat> Now, this guy is a stand-up comedian, writer, producer, and actor, native of Oak Cliff, Texas, all right? You may have seen him on Heart of the City Season 3. Perhaps you've seen him on BET. Or were you aware that he is the 2018 American Black Film Festival Comedy Wings competition winner? Uh, he's got a 30-minute uh, special on Epics right now that you can go and check out. And, of course, he did 17 hours on Keep Your Distance Comedy Show, and you may have seen him on Tony Baker and Friends. Can we please give it up for the self proclaimed Malcolm X of Comedy, Black Ron in the building? And the crowd goes wild. Hey, friend. Hey. Hey, Ty. Hey. <laughs> you over there looking all good. Look at your skin all shiny. Well, you know, I had to do a little, you know, do a little something earlier today. So I had to put on a face, you know. You did something. You definitely did something. Well, how are you feeling, friend? I am making the most out of the day. This is going to be the highest point of my day. I'll tell you why later. But let's just okay. say that I'm looking forward to this show being the brightest part of my day. Well, listen, say no more. We will continue to brighten your day up. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, much to discuss. So uh, while we are getting you settled in and you're doing what you're doing over there, because I see what you're doing when you're doing over there, let's go ahead and introduce the next guest to the stage. Man, he's another fantastic guy, stand-up comedian, writer, actor, producer, has his own. Our special on the Kev on Stage Studio app right now that you can see. He is a Harvard graduate, free online classes, that is, and an international sex symbol. Can we please let one third of the Black Tea University podcast get all of the love that we have to give this evening? Give it up for none other than the incomparable, very funny, and my friend in real life, Lance Woods. Oh, hey, thank you guys. That was everything about that intro made me feel warm and fuzzy. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for the warm and fuzzies. I'm glad that you're here loving your background. So how are you? I am sensational. Sensational is fantastic. I'm so glad to hear that. We are going to have a fantastic time tonight. I don't know if y'all know, but that's what we doing. Okay. I believe, I believe. All right, so we glad you're here. So let's go ahead and introduce the next guest so we can get this thing rolling. And hopefully by the time I introduce him, then our final guest will arrive. Listen, man, 
Uh, you guys know who he is. He is the shirtless wonder, stand-up comedian <laughs> and actor. He's also uh, got his own podcast called Daddy Issues, and I'm really enjoying the content that he's putting out with his sons. He is a lovely, beautiful wife, doing huge millions of numbers on the TikTok, uh, was just killing it out in these comedy streets, you know. Heard you sold out all of them shows, friend. Congratulations Three to you. Them. You've seen them on all kinds of things. We're not going to waste your time because I know what the people want to see. They want you to come out that shirt. Can y'all please give him the love and the energy that he deserves? Give it up for Keon. Poli. Are you checking out her butt, uh, I, I would say, Ron. Are you checking out her butt, Is my, thing, uh, is my thing messing up? Now nah, we see you. Because I'm on, we a, hear I'm you. on a stupid. Uh... <coughs> oh, it's not. It's not messing up. Now nah, we see you. Yeah, I'm good. We ain't hear you. You good? Oh, because uh, you yours is breaking up. So I thought mine was tripping. Oh, now nah, you're not about to break. B- blame it on my shit. Nah. So I think I think uh, I might have to get off and get back on because I'm on Safari right now and it's on my end. I can't. It's breaking up. All right, try to come in on Google Chrome. Yeah. Right. If you can. Okay, while uh, Keon and his Adam's Apple figure out the internet. And his and- Adam's Apple. Get the um, fuck out. <laughs> um, um, our final guest has arrived. Last but never least, this young lady is extremely talented. I believe that she is going to be dominating the sketch comedy scene as well as stand-up comedy because I had the opportunity to see her live and in action. You may know her as Moscato from All Deaf Women's Comedy Bars. You may even know her as Lil Skirt Skirt from All Deaf Women's Comedy Bars. And she, out of the kindness of her heart, brought me a gift when I was in the City of Angels in that palette super pigmented thank you so much friend can y'all show my 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 sister in comedy stand-up comedian writer actress producer of sketches and just wonderful content please give it up to john a the queen i was in it thank you your grace you know ty you know i I'm, i'm not gonna lie not to say i was asleep but i wasn't ready I didn't know. I knew you was brilliant and shit, but I wasn't ready for the, you know, the brilliant bars too. Though. Okay, okay, I you know see what you mean. Mean. And then we started sharing beauty tips too. Right, I'm loving the eyeshadow. Ready? Uh-huh. I don't think they're ready for this. Loving the shadow this evening. I'm loving Thank that. You, you know, you put me on to Juvia's place, so I want to let you know I did go ahead and give them a try. This is my first palette. Okay. Mm-hmm. You got the Nubian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Look, I am rocking uh, Juvia's Place uh, eyeshadow this evening. The guys are looking at us like, what? I know. I just tuned out. Listen, we are. No, no, fuck them. Hey, Lance, what are you rocking tonight, brother? You know what I'm talking about? What's on your face tonight, King? It's just a little bit of just a little bit of uh, uh, shea butter. Mm -hmm. I put a little shea butter so I can um, let my melanation um, be beat to the gods. You know what I'm saying? So, um, therefore, uh, furthermore, I wanted to let my pigmentation and my melanination conserve alliteration mm. into the beauty of the essence of the earth. So that's all I was trying to do. What about you, Black Black Ron? Speak okay, real quick. Um, um, I do have to remind the people that are watching uh, in the live chat, uh, again, shout out to the more moderators and the more mob. Um, go ahead and hit that like button, okay, so we can make sure that Tahir's views and things are still doing numbers. Just because he's not here don't mean that we're not going to conduct ourselves accordingly. Of course. Um, you see what's going on. We are working stand-up comedians. We are working entertainers. And uh, we are kicking it with you guys out of the kindness of our hearts and because we love to hear more. But you see the Cash App information displayed upon your screen. So if the spirit moves you, let him use you, child. Go ahead and Why drop you? in the Cash Apps. And just me as a personal rule of thumb, the more moderators always get a piece of anything that I make this evening. But you are also welcome to send Cash Money to the more mods directly okay so back to your melanation um sir lance Woods. you were saying oh well i was kind of i had already spoke on behalf of my ancestors and i wanted to know what black ron um what he did 
to make um you know his melanation from the earth pop mm, thank you so much King, for asking and i appreciate the question um i am am, am basking in the effervescence of nothing but the purest of, of cocoa butter vaselines at the present moment um also i have off deep woods mosquito repellent upon my topical layers of my epidermis so that my skin may not be bitten from those that may try to bring disease and pathogens into my godly kingness. Ashe, brother, Ashe, Ashe. Yes, y'all y'all talking that talk. Mm -mm, we're not about to do an hour and 45 minutes of that. You take your goddamn <laughs> ass to get the fuck up out of here, Black Wrong Queries. That's what you do. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that Keon can get back in soon because I'm not going to waste no more time. There's some things that we got to talk about, child. We got to get into it. I think the first order of business that we need to discuss are some of the adjustments and changes that have occurred with social media platforms. So mm. the first were you guys aware that you are now able to hide the like counts on your Instagram? Did you know that you could do that? Because mm -hmm. no. apparently some people, you know, they get sad when they look at other people's likes. And this is a way for them to try to help that. So if you don't want to see other people's likes, oh, you yeah. can hide the like counts or or you can hide the like counts on your posts. Yeah, so Instagram like, did a beta program of that for Androids where they hid all of our likes during the summer. So all you would see was that the comments. Okay, good, good, good. Keon is back, yay. So I'm not gonna be, I don't think I'm gonna be changing that. I know that sometimes when I post things, I turn my comments off because I don't feel like None of it. So sometimes I do turn the comments off depending on what the post is. Or if I see a post getting out of control, I'll turn the comments off because y'all not about to get on my nerves and be arguing back and forth for my stuff. The other thing is, which is a huge announcement as of about at this point, maybe an hour and a half ago, the clubhouse child is open to the Android users. I heard. About yeah, that. my girl Hippie Goes put me on that uh, last night. She already sent me the link. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to send it to you, but I figured that, you know, we would talk about it today. But oh, well, oh, well, if Clubhouse Oprah want to send me her link, then by all means, you know what I'm saying? I mean, let, me, let me come into the game already clouded. You know what I'm talking about? And shout out to Hippie Goals for always doing the behind the scenes, you know, networking and taking care of everything. Um, but yeah, since you already got a, an invite, I'm not going to, you know. Yeah, you, you, you don't want to over invite them, but yeah, you know what? I got two phones. I got two phones though. Oh, okay. Well, then just text me the number that she sent you the invite on, and then I'll. No, that's not how it works. Text. I'm gonna text you from the phone. I want you to send an invite too. Hmm. This is um. I, so I just. What you're saying is you're gonna like. You're you're putting. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the one hippie goes. I'm gonna use the one hippie goes sent me on this phone, and on my other phone, I'm gonna text Ty and say send me the. Oh, so you want to have two clubhouse profiles? Is what you're saying? I mean, I might. Nobody has time for your foolishness. So oh, let's no, move on. I'm getting this. uneasy. Two phones, two clubhouses. Like what because is I have two phones, but I have clubhouse on both devices, but one. But one profile, one account. I think, I think, I think it would be, um, I think it would be uh, remiss if we didn't ask our good brother King Keon, um, what products he was using on his skin right. to radiate the right. melanin. Water. <laughs> H two O, oh, my God. brother. That's just God, is what you're saying, King. It's just, it's just God on your skin. Just the just the good Lord and the things that He's provided on this planet, you know, mm -hmm. a little water, a little sunlight, you know. Talk to your talk, but I have a question for you though, Keon. I have a question for you. What's up, sir? Are you checking out our bud, Dad? <laughs> Absolutely, every day. <laughs> my son, my son is a hater. If y'all don't know what he's talking to, I made a video where I was, I was just trying to look at some booty, and my son put me on blast. Oh. He just don't mind his business. Oh. Oh. 
All right. Well, when I tell you, I tell you your busted laugh touched my heart because you laughed <laughs> like a nigga that had been fully caught and gave zero fucks. Like, yeah, you got damn right, son. Get yeah, you I some dick. Because he was supposed to be watching the Power Rangers and I was supposed to be observing booty and he peeked his head around the corner so that that laugh was genuine because i really was busted i was like oh oh and i don't be knowing what to do when they be catching like seeing us do i'll be like right, well, go mind your business okay so now i gotta ask have they ever walked in on y'all no and last night luckily they they listen well and they have very good manners last night we heard a knock at the door and I was like, what's up, bro? He was like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. It was a little one. But he, they knocked. They don't just bust in. They knocked. So he knocked. And I was like, put the robe on. I was like, what's good? He was like, I just got to go pee. I was like, well, hurry up, bro, because I got things to do. But so far, <laughs> nah, they got, they be knocking. So we good. They be knocking. I think anybody that grew up with a real daddy or with a stepdaddy, has observed their parents doing it against their will at least one time in their life. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I'm, I'm willing to say every black person that grew up in a moderately functional household has caught the grown-ups at least once in your childhood. It's it's yeah. a horrible feeling. No, I, I, I say some things. And I say some things I'm not going to talk about on camera because I don't want people going back trying to find my family for stuff. But mm -hmm. I've seen some things at a young age. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's not, it's not. It's not fun. Why you smile so hard at the know. end of that, man? <laughs> He's like, yeah. Because yeah, you know, you know what it is, but busted in. You said, how old was I? Yeah. How? Old um. I don't remember the exact age. I remember being like, 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 um, conscious though of like, um. Like seeing my dad, it, and it. I I wish at one point I wish I would have walked in on it, because when you walk in on the after, it's like worse. Oh, the glow! You walked in on the glow. I walked in. <laughs> 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 yeah, Keon. Hey, that yeah. nigga walked in and Mr. James had his arm up. His mama was laid in Mr. James' chest, nigga. <laughs> Mr. James was like, "What you need, Lance?" Nah, man. I walked in. I walked in. My mom is like under the blanket, but my dad is like walking from the bathroom back to the beds. Nigga, dicks just swinging. And you know, as a kid, you already short, so you just first thing you see is this nigga dick swing. I'm like, yo, my man. Uh, yeah. That'll scar you. Yeah. It yeah. It'll scar you, yeah. but it also gives you hope for the future. And um yeah. you'd be like, if that's what Pops got, I believe I'll be all right. I'm gonna grow in the mind. <laughs> yeah. Every every nigga has seen his pops <laughs> like one time. And, and then as a teenager, you was like, you harkened back on it. You was like, when I was seven. I did see it that one time. I believe I'm gonna be all right in these streets. I said that I was like, "Yo, I got a bright future ahead of me." <laughs> Girls don't do that. Girls don't ever catch their mama walking out the shower like, "That's the ass I'm gonna have." Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I never, I never, I didn't catch mine, but they thought they tried to get in a, a day, a daytime. And I had fell asleep. I'm like 16. I had fell asleep on the couch, but my brothers had went outside. They thought all of us left. So I'm walking upstairs. I just see my dad's body run by the door. And I was like, oh. And I walked back downstairs, and I didn't say nothing. I just started putting on my clothes. I was about to leave. I was like, all right. He come downstairs. He's like, come on, man. You did. I thought y'all was gone. You know what I'm trying to do, man. Come on, man. Well, help me out, bro. Why you, why you? I was just like, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I, I'm sorry. That is so a damn say. Hold on, real that quick. Is, real you quick. know what I'm trying to do. Help me out. Real, real quick, guys. Um, to the people in the um in the live chat, <laughs> maybe you don't know how the more mods work, and um how zooming with the homies works. I feel like maybe there's some new people that are watching tonight and they don't know how things go here. Um, the way conversations work 
are some people say stuff and then other people say stuff back, but it doesn't work if we're all talking at the same time. So when someone is not interjecting or, or adding to the commentary, they're just simply listening and that's okay. But if you get reckless in the chat, the Mormons will tell you to get your ass out of here. Uh, so there it is. Uh, she goes, she, they, tonight, they are not playing. This evening, they're they're very very very. So I thought I would block. You can get blocked. So what are they gonna tell them, Ty? They gonna tell you get your ass out of here, <laughs> please, please, people. Um, in the live chat, we want you to enjoy the conversation. Please don't try to anticipate or predict the emotions of any of us that you see on screen. We are all friends here. We are all colleagues, and us being silent may mean that we don't have anything to add. We just want to listen. Um. But um, yeah. So they so pe people said something because you don't got nothing to say about your daddy's dicks. Well, my daddy did. So first of all, did. if you didn't know, <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> so I was like, I thought she. I was like, wait, what? What? Yeah, I'm like, because I'm I, I'm not reading the comments, so I'm saying people are in the comments I because either. because you guys are not speaking about your naked parents that. Yeah, I think they think something is wrong with us. And we're just listening to you guys share your account of that experience. Because how, how do we even interject you? Like, hey, Ty, so go ahead. Tell us about your mom's titties. Right. <laughs> yeah, so, John A., that one time you seen your mama bent over <laughs> titties. How did that make you feel? Like, the fuck? I never had that experience. Like, I never. Yeah, I'm going to be. I never you know, walked in on my parents. Yeah. Um, I, I never walked in on that, but like my mom, she did like to like just walk around naked a lot. Like I don't know if that's just a black mom thing, but like just she didn't care. Just it's like, man, our cousins is over. What are you doing? Like you know? Oh, she did it in front of other people. I mean, like, I, oh, your mama was naked for company. <laughs> your mama was progressive as hell. Not like that. <laughs> your auntie that just don't care. Like she wasn't like you got to understand. My mom's super like. She don't even drink, don't cuss, nothing like that. But just, you know, it's her house. <laughs> you know, so, is she hot? You know, is this is this is this um is this like a weird assumption? But Janae just looked like she got a fine mama. Yeah, my mama. Janae looks like she looks like the spitting image of her mama. Janae looked like her mama just as black with like even wider hips and even bigger cheeks. <laughs> my mom, she don't got cake, but she got she has really big breasts. So like the breast. Oh, so she's walking around naked with the breast just to yeah. Just that's, out. Out. that's why she. I think she was hot. Like yeah. I don't think she was doing it for no other reason. Just like I'm hot, was, you know. Was letting them swing. She was taking naps and it was falling. Her Your own mama got the whole you don't care, dude. ladies of Botswana. Your mama with the National Geographic titties just out. You know. She, she was blessed. It. Hold on, let me go to Instagram and see if Janae made a mother a Mother's Day post. <laughs> so I think this is a great time to pivot away from Janae's mama's titties. <laughs> <laughs> you, you speak for yourself. I'll be over here perving. Yeah, it's it's big as she said, with, you with can't do a step. You make a whole side step. Well, I'm the I'm the guest host this evening. So if I say we pivot in, we pivot in. Um, I, couldn't help but notice. Yeah. I, I couldn't help but notice, you know, and maybe it's because I know your friend. Um, you know, I I could not help but uh, to observe that your internet connection this evening is much better than it typically is, and also your your surroundings look a little different. Would you care to explain? Uh. I am moving. I got a condo. So I am at my old place where I've always Zoomed with the homies. But my Wi-Fi has been turned off. And so I'm going off of my cell phone. So, yeah, I'm in an empty-ass living room right now. So the next time y'all see me, the offices of Black Run Entertainment will be from the New D. You know what I'm talking about, and, and I got one of them, you know, heels on, draws off, kind of, kind of pads. Now, you know what I'm talking about, like 
like Ty, you had walked over, you have came over a nigga house so nice, you was like, I'm gonna leave my heels on and take my drawers off. You ever, you ever seen a, a, a place that nice? Like as soon as you walk in the door, you look over the, the view and you be like, oh yeah. Like you hear Luther, oh yeah. Like soon soon as you walk in the door. Like um no, because no. I am accustomed I to good views. So I <laughs> Period. That's your grade. Not in Baltimore. Get the fuck out of here, goddamn me. You know, you know what, what I'm accustomed to. So to say, no, I, I was never impressed by a man's view enough to take my Keon. Because Keon. I've seen things you before. remember You remember the first time you took your wife somewhere nice, bro, and as soon as y'all opened the door to the hotel, it's like, oh, yeah. Like, you, you see the view. Like, the view make you want to fuck something. Why you know what I'm talking about? That song. Why is that? I don't song? know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a bad boy. Well, all right. I know. Uh, I actually, the bar is set so low for me. If we leave the house, she's like, you know what? It is nice outside. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do something because we are outside. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you can keep doing get, it. If we get dressed for the day, she's like, we can do something. <laughs> Hit the loop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I expect that to happen multiple times in the evening. I just wanted to, you know, um, basically congratulate you, Fran, because yeah, I know you got that E Lux apartment in the sky. I, I, so yeah. I wanted to, to celebrate that for you. Oh, a couple Tom, of the more mods, a couple of the Yamily, and um, a couple of the people that have been rocking with this show remember. Uh, the housing fiasco of 2020, yeah. COVID, y'all, y'all remember what what they was trying to put your boy through? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. up real quick, my current uh landlord, where I've been living for seven years, tried to evict me because I wouldn't sign the new addendum on the lease extension. So, mm -hmm. motherfucker told me three days before the first that I needed to find a new place to stay. Thought I was going to rest with that. I escalated the issue and went above their head, talked to their bosses and then corporate and whatnot. Got myself another year added onto my lease at the price that I was paying in 2020. No, nope, I didn't have to pay the five. I didn't have to sign the addendum or none of that there. I'm but not paying the five. <laughs> I, I wasn't I, I was allowed to pay the five. Thank you, Lance, for catching that. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you. Um, in your face, Black Ron. That's that's what that landlord did. Yeah, play try to smooth play me like, mm. and then um. But yeah, as of June the first, two thousand twenty one, I had to be completely the fuck out of here. So um, what I did was in March go look for me somewhere to stay, and in May first, I closed on my condo. So nice. uh, congrats, boom. congrats, bro. I like it. I, I got I got I got a question, Todd. Kind of circling back, right? Have your parents ever walked in on you? Wow. No. Who would do it where they mama stay? What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Can I, I look, thank Ken, God look, that down south we not cool yeah. like that with our parents? I know a lot of people yeah. that's cool like yeah. it's roommates yeah. with their parents. What, ha what happened, Keon? Give us the story. No, I was, I was making that face because I was like, no, I'm with Ron. Like, I I'm never smashing where my parents is at. You know what I'm saying? So, like, where the parents never, reside? Where the parents reside? Where the parents reside? Yeah, no. I'm not. That's out. That's not. I, def I, I definitely, I definitely got walked in on. Where your mama reside? So, not, but it was my dad. So oh, he probably was just like, do you think? Oh, yeah, no, that happened. That happened to me one time. That happened to me one time. You sat there that whole time and act like it was wild. And then once he said, Dad, oh, I didn't no, know that because time. no, no. Okay, well, I'll explain mine after Lance, but it no, was wild. I wanna, no, I, no, I want I want I want to hear this, Ron. Go ahead. Okay, so um, I wasn't living with my my my, my mama. I was in town and I was staying at my pop's house for a little bit. And I had some booty come through there while he was at work. This nigga decides to get off early. So while I'm in the bathroom washing up, about to bring her the hot towel, in walks my pops. 
and catches her scabucky naked on the on the living room floor. What does Pops do? Step right over her, go right to the kitchen, get himself a beer, go to the backyard, find himself a square, and just wait in the backyard. I get her cleaned up, their thing, get on out of there, come back in the backyard, like, hey, Pops, um, I'm sorry you had to see that, brother. He was like, oh, it's all good, but if you was going to have her over here, why you didn't have her wash dishes or something? And I was like, yo, my Pops is a player. I'm never gonna do that again. But that was the best reaction possible. He was, he was telling you. He was telling you. There's more. There's more there than what's in between her legs. You know what I mean? If you go, you got. He was telling you there was more value, and you wasn't. And you wasn't utilizing all the value. So I have a follow up question. Were you an adult <laughs> at the time this occurred? I was an adult. I was Black Run, the comedian. Okay, well, I didn't know because I was trying to find out. Did your father step over a minor naked girl and act like it didn't no, happen? No, he stepped over a grown ass woman. Like, okay. and then my other question is, I, I could not help but hear you say that she was on the floor. Where I, I would like more uh, details. The nigga, I mean, just, yeah. the nigga just got Wi Fi this episode. You can't expect the nigga to have a bad this whole show. Ass out. My business. Sometimes <laughs> I like to do it on the floor, Todd Davis. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Don't worry about how I get it in. Sometimes I like to hear the, uh, the smoke alarm in the living room. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay. And um, another question. <laughs> um, it was cool that she was naked on the floor and she should have at least. Wash dishes. I'm trying to understand the correlation. Yeah, yeah the, the deductive reasoning of the because naked. in my father's eyes, if she's cool enough to be naked upon the floor, she should also be cool enough to do a chore. <laughs> a chore. <laughs> Just one thing. <laughs> hey, no, 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 you see no the when you walked in. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you saw that trash, goddamn it. Look, you know, you've seen them clothes in the basket. No, you look, look, look. we we on the floor, so you you can you can see and feel that it needs vacuuming. <laughs> <laughs> you felt yeah. them crumbs biting your ass. Why you didn't get up and get that eureka? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, just, I, just, I love looking at uh, um, Ty and Johnny's faces right now. They cannot believe it. No, it's not. Because they too have been on living room floors. That's so fact. Front on us. I'm learning a lot about you guys. That's it. Jay, you mean to tell me you ain't never been on the floor? Oh no, I have. I just. All right I, then, goddamn me. But I, I, I know Ty have been on the floor. I know good and goddamn well Ty have been on the floor. Ty, my friend in real life. I know the type of person Ty is. Ty done got it in on the floor in her life. Can't tell me. Ty done got it in on a log cabin floor. A How wooden flow. How do you like, I, up? let her speak? You know, it was like I'm young, but my 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 cootie ka is even younger. You know what I mean? Like I was a late bloomer. For those of you who don't know, so like I still do dumb shit, young people shit, hand jobs in cars and beaches, parking lots. Like <laughs> when they trying to say that she, when they trying to say that she damn near forty having a whole face too. Or like a woman. You know, I, I I live alone. I you know, like come on, my shit is together. But in some ways, like the shit that I do behind closed doors, I'm not proud of. Yeah. So that's, that's more. Why I wouldn't you not be proud of it? Because them is your doors that you behind. I'm, I'm in my I'm in my last year of my young thirties. Like I'm 34, so that's my last year of my young thirties. I should have been. I this shit. I low key 19, 20, 19 to 22 tops. The shit that I do. Is not okay. Did you grow up in church? Yes. Yeah. 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 All women that grow up in church either wild out in first year of college or they grow up sexually repressed. If you have a daughter, like don't don't discourage her from being just a little bit of a like let her live. Like you know, <laughs> I know you fucking like, lying. God, guys will be like, they'll want to kill their daughter if they cut her giving some head. Like they will. Uh, uh, Nikki only. Jones said, "We supposed to outgrow that." Shout but out to Nikki, wherever you are. Dare to do whole shit, you know? 
Like, what, 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 I, what, 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 I do any whole thing I want. Any whole idea I have, I follow through with it. At least so I can say I learned, I lived. Do you so think when so? I raise my young queens, I could, you know, so so a so a little balance. So look, we are in agreement. This is the disconnect, and this is the issue. You say do that whole shit, and me like hell yeah. Live your truth. Do what you want to do. Black Ron say he got a young woman on the floor, and his questions like, why was she? No, no, no. On the floor? no. To be clear, to be clear, my question was not about the young lady being on the floor because sometimes, you know, it be like that. My my issue was not the floor. My questions or or my my curiosity peaked when he said that his father said the least that could have occurred from the young lady on the floor is that she could have done the dishes. That's where my confusion was. I had no issue with baby girl being on the floor because sometimes you got to be on the floor. Have you but ever lost the niggas? Sometimes sometimes you just got to. But why just because um, she getting smashed to oblivion on the floor, now she got to do dishes? Did she did she dirty any of them dishes? These are types of questions I ask. Well, I, well, let, okay, no, well, well, what my father was saying is to know my worth. And I got dish doing dick, all right? And if I'm going to be giving it out, I need to be getting it back in return. <laughs> so, so look. <laughs> so, look. So look, let me tell y'all the story, right? When uh, when my pops walked in on me, right? So and and I believe at this time I was, let's call it sixteen or seventeen. Now the thing about my pops is, um, around that time he was like stand with us, but it would be off and on, right? So like if you don't know, like um, like my mom, my mom is a minister. My mom is an evangelist. She's in the church. That's what it is. My pops is not at all. Right. So it was always a, a, a conflict because, you know, my mama loved this nigga, but, you know, it's just like this nigga is not they're not in tune with the same thing. So I had this girl over and we smashed it and my pops walked in, which was um, interesting because I never really knew when he was going to be at the house. So and my mom would work graveyards. So it was like my mom ain't coming home till the morning. I know that. I, my sister's there. Okay, cool. And I'm and from what I understand, my dad's nice. So it's just me watching my sister. My sister's two years younger than me. So if I was 17, she was 15, and vice versa. So um, yeah, so he just kind of walked in and he looked and he said, Oh, and just walked back out and closed the door. And we never talked about it. Um, but then in turn, like when I would see stuff, I would, we never talk about it because that was I rem I miss like those days because my dad used to keep a porn collection. On VHS, VHS and DVD, and then when you would find them, you would wow. just kinda, you would just kind of watch them. And you know, my dad's a, my dad's an old school nigga from the south. You know what I mean? So it'd be like the thickest women, like because he he would it would be like thick women, then it'd be like BBW shit, like just big big women. But I'm young, like these are the biggest titties I've ever seen in my life. Right, and you just watch all the stuff, and like sometimes I walk in, see him watching porn, and I just be like, and I just kind of walk out, you know. But it, I guess it was always an unspoken like we never tell mom what happened here with anything, mm -hmm. you know, because they would argue about stuff like that. And now that I'm grown, I get it from both perspectives. It's like I think it's a grown man trying to watch porno, like he's not doing nothing wrong. From her perspective, it's like yo, we trying to live like a godly life. And you in here fucking jerking off every 10 minutes and, and won't go to church. <laughs> you fucking jerking off every chance you get. You won't go to church and you be smoking cigarettes in the house when I'm not here. And I told you don't smoke cigarettes in the house. Just go in the backyard. But nah, my dad's one of them niggas who do what he want to do. So if he going to fire up, he going to fire up. I don't understand how women get mad at they do for watching porn. Hold on real quick. Before you go there, Black Ron, I'd like to revisit um... <laughs> <laughs> Dig in! Dig in! The, uh, the dish doing D um, oh. that you provided to the young lady. I, I would just like a little bit of context as to what the relationship was with her and 
Do you agree with your father's philosophy, as you said, um, that you should know your worth, that she should have at least done said dishes? She is not the love uh, of these uh, dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Them dishes were a trigger. She's like, I want to know. Triggered. Very it's all about hell. dishes. If I said phone clothes, she wouldn't have had no problem. You know, he, he, he the dishes. It's about, about dishes, goddamn yeah. me. Them dishes. I have it took her to a place. It took her to a place, Kia. She went somewhere. She not fuck with them dishes. <laughs> I have questions. Hey, and, and I better watch I just, what I say in this next sentence. I think our whole friendship is riding on how I answer this. Next time I see her, <laughs> I'm just going to sneak up behind her and be like, dishes, and see how much she flinched. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send her some sponges on her birthday. Shit. Them dishes? Them goddamn feel- dishes. I'm still laughing at John A giving hand jobs in the car while she's going to get her vitamins. Like that shit is hilarious to me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she got arthritis in her jack off hand, but she's still trying to do it. Like she got a little car. She's like, she like hurry up, we gotta go run. I just imagine <laughs> you know, <laughs> I gotta let me get a vente like, shut up, nigga. Let me get a uh, when niggas have roommates, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know? That's hilarious. Man, that's 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 tough. You gotta but get it as a grown man, because I like vocal women. So like I've never been cool with having a roommate as a grown up. Like after I got out of college, I was like, you know what? This is whack. Unless I'm showing out and showing off, this is whack. And most women, when they know that there is people that can hear them, they are very tight. You know what I'm saying? Very, very conscious of that. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, interesting. it's interesting how conscious you know women are of the roommate thing. But back to the dishes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why would she be expected to do chores? Because she Okay, so now let me let me put a button on this real quick. Hey Ryan, you, you, don't have, you don't have to answer this. As your lawyer, I advise you to <laughs> You don't have to answer this. You know what I mean? We don't have to. Uh, I'm going to defer to my counsel and uh, and, and maintain you, my right to remain you know, silent. It was That's your father. Not, no, it wasn't you. You oh. cannot speak for him. You don't know what was going on in his head. You were just a man smashing on the floor. You were just like, hey, I'm just trying to bust this nut over some lint. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then your daddy came in with dish duty and chores. That ain't got nothing and, to do with you. And, and, and you know you know what you do, Keith? Ultimately, Kina? I just think my father wanted them dishes washed. He didn't give a That's fuck it. who washed. He didn't care. As a parent, you don't care who does the dishes. You'd be like, somebody in here better wash these dishes because I paid a bill. Okay. He didn't even know well, the know? young lady. You know what? You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. There are so many amendments <laughs> in the Constitution. You know? I can only pick one. <laughs> I can only pick one. Okay, so I will I will leave that question alone. However, <laughs> I really would like to revisit it later on the clubhouse. Um, because Keon, I don't know at what point you you came back in, but um, because I am going to open up the Insomniac Lounge tonight, of course. You know, Black Ron, I want you to come in and kick it and, and all of that stuff. But them damn dishes is coming back up. I don't care if I have to call you when we get off of here and talk 17 hours by ourselves. I need my Them question. damn dishes is going to be a t-shirt. Also, <laughs> um, also, to the people that are watching. Hold on, Ty. So on Baby Boy. So on, 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 so on Baby Boy. Hold on, real quick. Jody was- Hold on, real quick. Real quick. I got I to gotta do the housekeeping because it's oh. over. It's oh. over 1,100 people watching, but the likes mm-hmm. do not coincide with the number of viewers. So um, as, as usual, please make sure that you guys oh. like the video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you're not doing that already. Please do not forget that there is a new episode of More to the Story that came out. Wording is Harder with Rob Hayes and Damn Internet, You Scary. So please make sure that you guys um, are continuing to support to hear in that way because that does matter. I got a question for you, Ty. Oh, I'm sorry. Before that question, Lance, um, Black Ron, I, you say what she was going to say, and then Lance. Oh, yeah. So, so on Baby Boy, when Jody was hitting it from the back and, and turned Yvette up, and he was like, mm hmm, you going to get in there and make them tacos? If he would have said wash them dishes, you wouldn't have liked that part of the movie. No, I think you're 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 focusing on the type of chore. My question is the chore in general. Like 
Jody. So you ain't never had no dick so good you just want to do chores? No. So why do why do why do y'all expect us to have pussy so good we just want to pay bills? I don't. Lance, what was your question? She said I don't. Lance. <laughs> That doesn't apply to me and my glasses. So. <laughs> oh, man. That's your. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, man. That's your funny. question, Lance? Nah, it's all good, Ty. I love Ty to death. This is hilarious. Ty. <laughs> No, because see, see, me and Black Ron, we have like to the to the people that are in the chat and don't know what's happening. Black Ron and I, and all of us here, but Black Ron and I are really close. We're friends in real life, and we talk and we we go back and forth with like different issues, and we play the opposing sides of it so that we can have a great dialogue. And we used to do this for hours at the beginning of the pandemic on the Midnight Oil Show. So this is low key like a reunion. Um, so he may he may say something outlandish and then I'll be like, mm, <laughs> I have a question. Um, so this is, there. there is no animosity here. There's no like, hurt feelings or anything, Black Ron and Ty Davis are friends in real life. Trust me. Nah, that's my girl. I'll be liking that's, to get a rise out of Ty. Okay, for question. those of y'all that don't know how to watch Ty's face, okay, Ty, take your glasses off so they I got it. Okay, so you see how Ty look right now? You see how, you see there immediately? Because she don't know what I'm going to say. Look at her eyebrows. They get to touching and she get this little bitty dip right here in her forehead. Whenever Ty is perplexed, whenever Ty is she don't know what she finna say, but she knows she don't like what's going on. Them mm -hmm. damn eyebrows is gonna get mm -hmm. right together like AD, and she gonna get a little scoop right here in the middle of her damn forehead. Watch for the scoop. Hashtag. Mm -hmm. Don't do me watch that. For the scoop. Watch for the scoop. Good to know. The Somebody okay. in the chat was asking, what kind of man is John A yeah. into? Yeah. I did see that. I think oh. they're interested in you, John A. Okay. Um, I mean, you gotta have a car, because you know she like that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Hey. She likes to uh, switch hey. gears. That's she likes like to play <laughs> DJ in the go. car. Yeah. You're not gonna let that go. You're not gonna let that that car handy go. She let. She definitely likes to ride stick shift. You know what <laughs> I'm talking about? To be fair, if I can't let the dishes go, then they they can't. They they That's fine. I own it. I own it. Go. You know what I mean? <laughs> Period. So, what type of man am I into? You know. Someone who is number one, supportive, like understanding, like you can't ever get uncomfortable about the fact that like, I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to hang with who I hang with. It's going to be a lot of dudes there. Like I might shoot, you know, content with niggas, like all types of things that like, you know, you got to be comfortable in your own skin because, so you, gonna, you know, you're not going to throw me off my goals. Like that's <laughs> so... Um, that's, you know, as far as like physical things, I'm, I don't really have a type, but to my like friends, they think I have a type. They're like, you attract the same type of guy over and over again, which is like niggas who look like common. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know, like whatever. I, I'm not trying to do it. You know, it's just there are times, you know what I mean? Hey, there, when you need <laughs> someone. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's not just so random. Right. Hey, Kia. I don't know what it is, but. Kia, go, go put on your Akbar shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Y'all so funny. That's so funny. I'm open to like, you know, number one, like you got to be respectful. I see, I watch how you treat people in general, but especially like other women in your life, like your mom, your sisters, like, like what, you know, like you got to be very open minded, like, cause I have a lot of different types of loved ones, friends and shit. So you can't be out here ignorant, saying dumb shit, thinking dumb shit. That's like, I'm going to get so annoyed. You got to go like, you know, like. <laughs> Lance, you know, why you got your hand raised? I got a question, but I, I don't want to cut off. I just want to hear I'm you, sorry. but I just let you know I got a question I when you're done. I thought you had it. No, I got a question when you're done, but keep going. I'm done. What's up? So this is what I'll be wondering. And and may, I, you know when you ask somebody what they like and they start saying stuff like that? 
Like, um, because I believe you. I like somebody who's respectful and, you know what I mean? I believe you. But it's like, no, what do you like? I like mm -hmm. girls with really big titties and who, like, um, like just be chilling. The physical stuff. I mean, no, no, it's not. Fit. I like. I mean, because you're gonna have to deal nah, with the cut that. Hold on, King. You cut that man off. You weren't even listening with with ears to to, to hear him. You were listening with ears to respond because he he both physical and emotional. He said, "I like big titties are emotional." How? No, he I said, mean, "I like I mean, girls with big titties that be chilling." I'm you I'm totally and, missed that. and I'm emotional about titties. Okay. So, but I mean, but you know, you know what you like, though, right? So it's like, if it's like a girl, like a big titties, but like with a proportion body, and she be chilling, like, cause I'm not argumentative at all. So like, she just be chilling, like, yo, she can, ch like, I can bring her in any circle, and she chilling. It's like real simple to me. I, like, I thought obviously. I gave examples. Huh? I thought I gave those examples of. No, 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 no. No, you did. I, I just, I'd be wondering, like. Cause I mean, nigga, you, like you know what it's like when you talk to people and everybody kind of say the same thing. It's like, oh yeah, I want somebody who's, and it's like, yeah, but what, like, what do you want, right? Like, it's I like a woman right. say stuff like, I want a man who make three hundred thousand dollars a year. Like that could sound like whatever, but you know what you want. It's like when you go on these dating profiles and everybody says that they dating with a purpose. They like tacos and beer. It's like, God damn, all y'all saying the same shit, my nigga. Good vibes only. What the fuck does that Good mean? My nigga? What does that mean? When someone says I'm outgoing, what does that mean? I mean, for me personally right now, I'm not looking to date anybody. You know, that's just not the shit I'm on. So it's just if I were a loving person who don't I love her, they somebody <laughs> you, that would be my list of like what you would have to be in order for me to like give you niggas with beards. I said that common type, you know. He, no, 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 no. You you he, said your friends think you like that. You said you don't have a type. That's what I attract. That's what I attract. You know, you attract okay. poets that <laughs> smoke weed. Yeah. I mean, I, it's natural. People who smoke weed kind of usually find a tribe. So yes, yeah. a smoker, preferably. Yeah, you attract niggas that like to pull their dick out while driving. I mean, yeah. is that also something that you attract? Yeah. Comfortable. You got to be pretty comfortable with your dick to put it out on the four or five. Like you got to be pretty goddamn comfortable. Yeah. Traffic, I don't. All this traffic ain't going nowhere. <laughs> no, that's equivalent to being a driver or texting while driving. I don't do those. I, I wait till I'm pulled over. You know what I mean? Something like that, but not while a moving vehicle. I don't think that's safe. Look, I so you, you, pull, you pull over? No, it's usually like, you know, like step out to the car. <laughs> What? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just trying Look to get, I'm just trying to get the mood. Like, is it is it like is it like oh the the bad parking lot behind the Safeway of Vons? Like, is it you know like oh this building's been closed for a while? Let's pull in because you know when you go to big office buildings, don't nobody be there after six. So you I don't go behind like there. Local places. It's usually when I'm like out of town, a little somewhere like where oh. I'm like I, I'm not gonna see. In a Okay, because you don't want to get nothing on your interior. Or out of town. You know. Just to be clear, we can keep going back to the hand jobs, but we yeah, don't talk about the motherfucking dishes. Well, right. the no. dishes is not him. His dad said that. He cannot well, answer well, he, for his he, father. He agreed with his daddy that he had dish doing D, and I have. You have a phone call, is what you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Hold... Can y'all see me? Wait. How you yeah. okay? Hold on, because I don't know how to. Somebody called my phone, but then my computer did something. Somebody was calling. You, you, come do them you probably got you probably got your FaceTime linked to your computer. <laughs> well, how you so, make it? Because it's linked together. I, my, one of my favorite things is watching Ty be confused by technology. Bro, it'd be so funny. <laughs> do anybody else see the school? Do y'all see the school? <laughs> Well, y'all know I don't know how to work the computer phone, child. Do y'all see a scoop? Do y'all see a scoop, though? <laughs> the glasses. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. So, so, Janet, 
No more like, hand job talk. I feel like, you know, like I want to leave something to the mystery. Like my future king could be out there. Like why? I'm not going to tell everything. No, oh, that's I, bullshit. That's bullshit because don't nobody want to get with a virgin. Hold and on. Since hold I already on. know hold that you out there. Let yeah. me know. Out there. Time out. Time out. Flag on the play um, because you don't speak for all men and what it is that they prefer. And no sex, nigga wants a virgin. And, no and, nigga and, wants a virgin. And, Secondly, and secondly, John A said she don't want to talk about the hand jobs anymore, which sounds like she has created a boundary to which she has enforced. And I I support her in her enforcement of that. So we're not talking about the hand job no more, and we're not talking about them dishes. So my next question is um, Did y'all hear about the young man in Tampa, Florida? that has been arrested on murder charges. He was working at the Dunkin' Donuts child and a 77 year old white man um, accosted him at his workplace and called him a slur, a racist slur. And he punched that man, he hit that man and that man died two days later. Um, where are we with how we are reacting to to things like that. And and what are your thoughts on the matter? Continue. I'm going to try to figure this thing out on a computer phone, but go ahead. As far as on what part of the matter, as far as I, I, I seen the story. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. Um, I'll let somebody else talk. Go ahead. I'm just here. I just want to say I just want to say praise to the ancestors for giving that young man the fist of Ogun to uh, strike um, with because um, anybody that can one piece you to your grave had to have hit you with all of the ancestors balled inside his goddamn fist. Um, to that, I want to say, what the fuck did he say? Because I have heard some rather reckless shit out of the mouths of white people in my direction. If you're 77 years old and you know your health is in such decline that the next sudden abrupt movement could send you to the light, you might want to watch your mouth. I think that man was on a suicide mission. I think he was tired of living at that goddamn nursing home. When nobody coming to see him, the doctor said, you got six months to live or your next major physical injury. He was like, I'm going to go out on my terms. I'm going to call me a nigga, a nigga before I die. And I hope he got the balls to punch me in my shit. Mm. Well, I guess, the question that, I, guess, I guess the question that I would want to know then is because I, you know, I, I think we've all experienced you know, some type of stuff like that um, with where we are now, like today, if you encounter someone that is using a lot of, you know, racist slurs against you, are you, you know, going high when they go low? Do you got time to they cuz? Cause we've seen, you know, videos of people like, oh, is that what you're saying? So like, how have you mentally prepared yourselves for how you would react if you find yourself in a similar situation, because no matter what it is that um, the guy said, whatever it was, that dude really went off, went on him. I mean, to to beat someone or punch someone to death, that's so pretty serious. He hit him. He hit him once, or the well, the headline in the article just says that he that they had a heated exchange and then he punched him and then the, the police arrived and they sent the man to the hospital and two days later the man died. So they didn't specify if it was just like one you you don't talk to the man, no 77 year old man yeah. and pack him out MMA style. Yeah. He gave him a y'all y'all one time in his shit and he boom and he probably hit his head. You think he hit his life alert button? Yeah, he would he would have had he had consciousness, but you know them yeah, goddamn flows yeah. inside the goddamn fast food spots be slippery. Oh yeah, he hit him. He hit him once, and he hit his head on the concrete. Boom! Told you. So, told you. Okay, this is this that is was my gravity. Point. That was the good Lord and gravity that killed that man. Okay. Okay. And so th this is this is my contention. Um, 
in we real life. Him or leave LeBron. I don't. That's what I was basically I'm, asking. Like, I'm, we need to get that man a good lawyer because he needs to argue the fact that all he did was defend himself against verbal assault. And in these days and ages, being called a nigger at my workplace by a disgruntled customer is great, is already assault. Does that hold up though? Verbal assault? Yeah, but what, what it does not hold up to is that he had the intention to kill that man when he struck him, which is the same logic that they use when they say that these cops didn't have the intention to kill a nigga when they kill a nigga. And that's no, not that's how they fucking get off. The charge, the charge is manslaughter. So exactly. Yeah. So you got to argue the same shit that they used to get these motherfucking police off. When he yeah. went into that exchange, he did not have the already predetermined notion to kill that man. Yeah, they, they say it wasn't. Right, they trip you out with the law. That's literally why it's created. So it's like, as black people, you have to be careful. African American, copper tone, however you identify, like that is definitely, you know what he I mean? Plead, he can plead down to felonious assault. Types of, you know what I mean? It's, it, it's the laws created to like the same thing does not apply when you're. Wait, wait, where was the, where was the place you work at? It's Florida, right? Florida. No, Florida? But I mean, where, where was, where was the job? In Florida, Tampa, Florida. I mean, so where, where was he working? What, what was the job? Ironically, yeah. that's where all this shit popped up. I mean, ironically, he worked at a Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know if he Dunkin made. Donuts. Where, does anybody know where he was working? Like what, the, what the job was? Dunkin' Donuts. I, I, I thought. Oh, was you mean Dunkin like Donuts. if he was on the register or making donuts? What you no, mean? I'm just asking because it's like no, he, he didn't know that it was Dunkin' Donuts. Because <laughs> <laughs> if it's Dunkin' Donuts, what was right? his job specifically? Because I know I'm sometimes if you'd have made a whole donuts, bunch of donuts, he don't no hands shit strong. About that job, yeah, and he don't give he, that that murder or manslaughter. It wasn't intentional because if he's working at Dunkin' Donuts as a black man, we already know he walked in there and he was like, I don't give a shit about this raggedy motherfucker. Like he wasn't even. He, there's no way he had, you know, I'm going to kill a nigga today on the brain. He was just like, I'm just collecting right. this check. I'm just the gonna next this nigga check. that say something, I'm going to punch him to death. No, like, no, nah, bro. All he was Fuck doing was putting away donuts to take to his boys when he get off. You know what I mean? He had two donuts. Like, yeah, you side. better stack them donuts, nigga. What? Yeah, he was like, what? Well, wow. Wow. No, he, and he probably wanted to quit. Part. He had just put in his two weeks. He was like, I don't want to be here anyway. Because here's the other part. Like, he was charged with Man, so I'm actually interested to see how this plays out because it was in Florida, which is, if I'm not mistaken, still is a stand your ground state. And, and, it, it, and if it was on the reverse, if this man had hurt him because he called him the racial slur, now it's a hate crime. So oh. if you are, so if you are being verbally assaulted or attacked, you know, in a hate crime. And this is what happens because you were defending yourself. Sorry. How is the charge manslaughter? Why wouldn't it be he was standing his ground? Well, because 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 he's seventy fucking seven. Yeah, mm. but I mean, but 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 more in depth. If you're talking about the law, the stand your ground thing is about someone attacking you, and they don't. No, necessarily the stand your ground is cause for white people to be able to kill niggas with impunity. Why we don't call shit what the fuck it is? Well, that that's of course. But I'm saying when you're talking about the law, the law is not written for us or to protect us or mm. even for us to understand. So I'm talking right. about when the explanations are made. These are how they explain laws. So mm -hmm. for me, right, I don't let um, white people or anybody, for that matter, affect my mood. So there's not much you can say to me that's going to make me jump out of myself. Right. So it's so, like so you wouldn't physically like someone calls you a name. You're not going to hit them. Is what it, it don't know. It, it just depends on on what like some like. There's a lot more things that's racist than someone calling you a nigga. If if a like a no, white no. person say like if a white person say like for shizzle to me, I'd be willing to slap the fuck out of them. Like, no, that that's racist as fuck. You don't talk like that. And because you're talking to a black person, you're trying not to not call yeah. switch, motherfucker. You're disrespecting me. Yes. So okay. it's not about a racial slur to me. I don't like disrespect in any form. Yeah, this question though, man. And this is brother to brother. Mm -hmm. Has anybody black ever said something to you 
that cause you to put your hands on them. Yes. And that's my problem. Because niggas are quick to go to the pugilistic side with each other, but we won't do it with white folks. There's this inherent fear that, oh, I won't put my hands on it. We'll let white people say the most reckless shit to us. And I know niggas that have argued over whether who was better, Kobe or LeBron, and the shit actually turned into a fucking fight. Yes. That's not what he said, though. He said it depends yeah. on the situation. Yeah. And because I'm going to tell you what happened, because I've slapped white boys too. Yes. And they all happened on the basketball court. And Ke <laughs> Keon's playing, but I'm, I, I'm real competitive with basketball. So the last, every fight I've been in as an adult happened on the basketball court. Some was black, some was white. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be like a racial slur. It's like things happen. So what, because this is the problem with, with quote unquote racial slurs is you can put everything under the umbrella of racism when there's other problems and it's like we're not addressing the real shit we're just counting it off as racism and people don't even know what racism really is while yeah, it's not racism it's bigotry right and so we'll be participating within a racist system calling someone within the system racist it's like no this whole thing is racist us participating then in this is racism. So I guess you can say your supervisors are racist, but the system is racist. So he, he's actually doing his job and his job is to be racist. Right. Mm. You and know what I mean? mean so to be I just fair, I do have a follow up question though. I was gonna say to After be fair, not, like oh, I sorry, guess ahead, the guy the, like the guy uh the guy that died. He was just, you know, talking trash. He wasn't, he didn't attack the man. The, I guess he said something and the man hit him. So is that why well, it's the well, manslaughter and not? Yes, that, 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 that's, it's, it's manslaughter because it wasn't premeditated. He did not do something no, no, no. with the intent to murder someone. No, I get that part. I get that part. But like, I guess it's it's basically like because if the man didn't ever attack him or hit him, he doesn't have a defense to say I was defending myself. If he was just talking shit and then the yeah. dude hit him. Yeah, and so so okay, so then so then you back up out of it. See, it's always easier to remove yourself from it and look at something from a totally different perspective. If mm -hmm. in a relationship, a man and a woman, if a woman mm -hmm. is saying Bitch ass nigga, you ain't gonna do shit. Fuck you, you don't take care of your kids. And he punched her in her fucking face. The response is, you should never hit a woman. It's not right. okay. So right. the response, I guess, has to be the same if someone is yeah. calling you a name. And that's, that's exactly what society has done. There are certain people that you should never put your hands on, nigga. It is not okay. Never under any circumstances are you to strike a white person. Never, no, no, nigga. No, no, no. There are some antiquated. Hold on, Ty. Let me let, let me finish my screen. That's all. That's all I was saying. I was separating like the the race from it because if the guy didn't hit him, then it's like that's why. No, know, but we got to put race thing. into it. We got to put race into it because when the black officer killed the white woman, he got sent to motherfucking prison for a long ass sentence. But when the white woman came and killed the black man in his own fucking living room, she got five years. And she's currently appealing that shit right fucking now, bro. Yeah, but, there, 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 is a, there is a systemic thought process that applies not only in the way that the law is laid down, not only in the way that the law is interpreted, but in how infractions within the law are committed. It is to it is totally and completely fine for a woman who feels she has been disrespected by a man to slap him across his mouth. If he was to call, if a man walked up and said, "Bitch, you a hoe ass uh, slut. You don't take care of your kids. You out here in these streets. You can haul off, slap the taste out of his mouth. Would nobody say nothing wrong? They'd be you like, out here the hand day. jobs in the car." Yeah. All that violence shit. can go both ways. So as a man, if yeah. you go and report that, which is up to most men, don't report it. 
That's the difference. But domestic no, violence. No, no, no. I'm talking about not in the eye of law. I'm talking about in how society perceives. Society, too. I think that's a situational thing. For me, as a woman, I don't condone a woman slapping a man mm-hmm. or vice versa. So I think that's a situational thing. Mm-hmm. I'm a part well, of society. Question, so I don't subscribe to that. I think, that's I think not- my question is nearly for the, for the young man, like him not having a defense if that man had not physically done anything to him. That's what I was trying to understand. And then well, I know well, Keon, I'm with, I'm with, you, Keon, you had something. Yeah. Well, cause I'm with Lance with niggas don't really get to me like that. But at the mm-hmm. same time, I'm also like anybody can get hit for what's coming out your mouth. So okay. but and that's I'm all I'm saying, Keon. Anybody. And, but We're what I'm more concerned it. is when he hit the man, <laughs> Did they shut the donut shop down? Like, was stuff in the deep fryer still? Was there? I want to know what happened with the donuts because I'm like, yo, I feel like food's going to waste. I don't waste food, so I'm like, yeah, there was a fight, but this food is anybody tending? Well, he's the only nigga working. Did he have to leave that day? Like, what happened with these donuts? Because I don't waste food. I just want to know what happened that's with a, that. Like, I know that's a great died, question. You know, he I don't know things. what happened, that's with, what the happened with the donuts. Or were they okay? Were they? Did anybody take care of those? Where nigga, have you been to Dunkin' Donuts? Do you know how hard it is to be knocked out when it smells of fresh donuts in the right. air? Right, right. Like what? Nigga, right. That was the was concrete. It? That was that concrete ass floor, my nigga. He only hit that nigga hard enough to knock him down, but gravity sent him to the grave. Now I see why you're asking that, Keon, because that is important. Did Did y'all see what happened today at the Padres game? He's on the floor, About- and that slipped because of. Don't Everybody know that fast food spot floors are greasy. Everybody slipped and fall and hit their head. It could, it maybe wasn't the punch. It could have just been the. No, y'all, the y'all, didn't, y'all didn't see it. Nobody it. saw it. You got to well, wear non slips. See what, Lance? You got non slips or not? Um, what happened at, at the Padres game? Did y'all see anybody seen it? Nice. No, yeah. uh-huh. these types of things. I'm, a, I'm going to try to um see if y'all can see it clearly through this video. Is it? Give us a warning. Is it triggering? Um no, it's it's um it's white on white violence. I was just saying, how do you know Cue what's triggering, Zane? I yeah. mean, Cue I, I I've been drinking wine, so like I can get emotional depending on what you finna show me. That's oh, you oh you you cry quickly at a certain time of night, and if I've had alcohol, <laughs> yeah, at a certain time of night, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. I don't cry at night. Hold on, let me see. let me know if y'all can see this clearly. You got you it on. yeah. Okay, that's my own okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me, let me get. He was chasing him. He was really. He was. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. I got. Somebody I got was running. Okay. Scoot it in. Oh, Ooh, okay. okay. Oh, oh, he went straight down. Oh, and then they started jumping him. Okay. Shout out to the originals, uh, chocolate brown and yellow projects. I want that. I want the jersey. So was that an elderly man that was struck or something? They look. They wasn't old. No, 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 look kind of old. Okay, play it again. Play it again. Look look, Look, at this angle. How the meat is gathered in the back of his neck. Play it again. Hey, look look at this angle. Seventy years old. Only, only look at the guy who got punched after the punch. Yeah, okay. look how tall his pants is. Oh, cause he fell back and kind of like. Sleep. No, he's still he's still there. He's still there right now. Yeah, yeah he's, he's out. Yeah, he sung that boy a lullaby. Yeah, and he, and you know when he walked, we couldn't hear it, but he had the typical white dude walk. So he's like, "What the fuck you want to do, bro?" And then he stole it. <laughs> yeah. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. What do you want to do, bro? Bow. Because he, he threw the punch. He threw the, go back and play it again, Lance. He threw the punch flat footed <laughs> and over his hips. He didn't put no kind, he didn't put no kind of turn, no kind of direction. He didn't throw that punch with any kind of bad intentions. He threw that punch like a motherfucker that can't fight. Look right there. What do you want? What do you want to do, bro? Bow. Hit him. Yeah, he didn't throw that punch viciously. He didn't turn with the punch. He didn't dip his hip. He didn't rotate his wrist. He didn't do none of that. He threw that motherfucker movie style. And then I have follow-up questions for that little brawl, too. 
Were Please, there Ian, the were, were there any nachos stepped on and spilled? Were there beers spilled? Like what happens with the food in this situation? Is what I'm right, right. No one's asking the real question. Yeah, niggas get slept every day, but what about this seven dollar nacho Dion. that you just paid Dion. for? Who Dion, Dion, I didn't want to tell you this. You know what I'm saying? But I have it on good authority that four four freshly bought hot dogs got stepped on in the melee. Two bags of popcorn got knocked out of somebody's hand. Soda got spun dude in the whole kerfuffle that went on. And while somebody was engaging in fisticuffs, my dear brother Keon, a beer got stepped on. Oh, hell. And I got another and, question. If your boy gets knocked out, that is if, your boy, if your boy get knocked out, are you allowed to eat his food? Because he's hey, I eat. believe I believe in the interest of protecting the integrity of the nachos that you got to eat, eat the nachos. Because you can't eat them cold. You yeah. can't eat them cold. You can't eat them you cold. You cannot. So he's and he's not going to wake up. No. Not just that. And but you didn't pay your tickets to get in, so you can't leave the game either. So you didn't pay your money. There's food there. He just got to take a nap while you eat and watch the game. Furthermore, furthermore, I submit that you got to drink the beer. It can't oh, get yeah. warm. It can't be warm. And something got to wash down them jalapenos. I think, I think you got to do when it. When he you wakes up. It. When he wakes up in the back of that ambulance, the last thing he gonna say is, "Where my nachos?" Right. Who got? Did y'all grab my stuff? Did y'all get my keys? Did you? So you know, dudes that? always count their money. They all dudes are always counting their money, no matter what's going on. So when he wake up, like when he gonna be like, "Bro, them nachos cost me fourteen. Did anybody eat them? I didn't want to waste them." So you gotta eat them for the homie. Or give them to the ambulance driver, but by the end they gonna be cold. They gonna be cold. <laughs> by the time they do their job, they gonna be cold. Which defeats the whole fucking purpose. I say, don't don't let that fourteen go to waste. Eat them goddamn nachos and then call the authorities. Right. Let me and, I'm, and if I'm already out, like just let me sleep. I needed a rest. I got kids and shit. Like let me take a nap. Bro, what's you know the difference what in between being knocked out for four minutes and being knocked out for nine minutes? Let me see. Eat them nachos. Eat them. Let me sleep. Don't I waste my question. money, bro. Unless I fail in the nachos. Don't pull them out from under me and then eat them. Oh, yeah. That's... Let me lay in them. Okay, wait. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know if this is me. Can can either uh, you guys verify? Keon, you sound really low to me. And Somebody Black said, what about now? You sound like you're in Dolby surround sound. So that's been that's been all show. That's what I'm saying. So is it is oh, Keon? Coming in high. To you too? No, it's it's mine. Mine is low. They've been telling me that the whole time. Mine's low. Are we are we low to you, Keon? No, no. You guys are all normal. Ron is here, and then okay. You oh my bad. Know. I'm you. I'm used to my shit. I'm used to my shit being all fucked up. I'm excited. I'm sorry. mine's <laughs> messed up now. That's why I'm so low. I, I, I talk. I talk in my regular speaking voice. I thought y'all couldn't hear me. <laughs> uh, I've been projecting. All show long, my bad. Oh no, because I, I was, just because I'm gonna sit there and just talk. Okay, can I, I can I do a sound check right quick? Can I do a sound check right quick? Yeah, you good? Hold on. How's this? It's fine. It's I okay. Think it's, I think it's just I was you. listening some of what Keon was saying, and I had to look at your mouth and see it was moving, so that's why I couldn't hear. So I didn't know if it was my stuff or anybody nah, else was nah, having nah. a problem. So that's it's, why I was it's mine because I'm on this. I'm on this uh, safari because I couldn't get on Chrome. It would not work. It's safari. Okay. <laughs> the safari. Is well, that sounds whatever you did it sounds better. Safari. I mean, I put this up. Does that does that help? Oh, nah, that don't sound. Mm -mm. See? This. How you had it was cool. Hold on, try yeah. try to try to go raw and see how it sounds. <laughs> oh, with no headphones. Why would have the headphones? I think you said try to go raw. Why ain't got a big raw? That nigga said try to go raw and see how it sounds. You know, I'm not. Nah, it was better. It was better with the uh, you know. Yeah, y'all yeah. yeah. sounded better with the okay. too. Okay. We just trying everything. Also, Ron, I think it's because um, the acoustics are a little more open up uh, where you are. Stop clapping, nigga. Ron, Ron, Ron ain't moved all his furniture in yet, so it's still got like a slight echo. Oh, no. I'm, this is my old place. That's the old place. Oh, you at the old place. That's okay. Yeah. Right. It's nothing in there. You moved yeah. everything out. Maybe it's amplifying it. Okay. There's nothing here, basically. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah, you, I got like brand, I got brand new furniture in here, as you can see. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
Yeah. Use I your did, I did it. Not raw it and hit the fireplace. Right. That's hilarious. <laughs> what, what, what if Ron really wasn't moving? He just took all his stuff out so he could sing Luther songs with the acoustics right. in the room. What you, wait, what's the song? What's like the he song? really not moving. He's in the music. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, Todd's face been like that 75% of the show. <laughs> Y'all see the school? I'm not, wait, <laughs> Why are okay. you like this? Why are you like this, Black Ron? I don't know. <laughs> Sing it. Hey Todd, listen to the kills. In the news. <laughs> in the the new. Okay. You better hit that note. You better hit that note. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it. That's a real sinner right there. Oh my! <clears throat> did you? Man, did you already, there's certain songs oh. that you just got to sing in an echo. Ron, did you already do the? Did you already set up the profile for um, Clubhouse? Well, I set it up on my Android like months ago, okay. but so, but that's so when it was two different universes. So, I'm, but I deleted it like when when I realized that what we that was that doing, was right? So I'm wondering so that if I re-add the app, yeah. is it going to resume my my original profile? And I well, think I, I had. Think I don't think the one that you had before was the one that was associated with Rohan and Paul. That's what I'm saying. So like whatever invite you got in your text, click that and it should take you. Cause I'm basically trying to see if you're going to get on tonight. Cause we doing something tonight. So I wanted you to come in. Text it to me, Tyree, so that okay. I may do it. Okay. It's been now since you've been gone. We're not doing that. We're not doing it's that. Um, you, I, 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 I don't have the button. I just want to you. Thank you, Will. There is a God somewhere. Um, she muted him? <laughs> <laughs> she shut down the studio? She hit the... <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, like... Uh, she shut down the studio she like Diddy on making the band. She turned the lights off. She shut down the studio. I'm sorry, I'm Tommy. I'm locking up. She was like the old gentleman. Oh, hey, right. I'm locking up. Y'all can stay in there if you want to, but I'm turning everything <laughs> off. You know, you know, ain't the only one that can sing. Sing then. You know what? I've never heard, because John A can sing. Black Ron, you have a great sing. singing voice. Keon, I heard that you oh, can sing, but I had never heard you sing before. Yeah. So I, I wonder, them. like, do you have, like, Clips or something somewhere where we could, if we wanted to go and be nosy and hear you sing a tune, could we see somewhere? Nah, it's nothing, it's nothing on, on the yeah, internet. Move little tenor with the false set of little highlights right. on it. He's trying to look off like he don't know he can say, no, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. And they know he want he one of them niggas that can sing and know that they get him extra coochie, but he be trying to act all <laughs> fake, humble, and shit. I just, you know. I only, I only oh, sing. I only sing when I need dishes done. You know what I'm saying? When I need, oh. you know, when I need. When I oh, need Keon, sing done, on, you sang on you episode know? of Zoom with the homies before? I gotta find I that. Just, I just, you know, I'll be like, you do these dishes. I might hit a note. You know, uh, if there's donuts no, being made, oh, thank I'm you, a thank fine. You. Saying. Oh, Keon spoke for me earlier, so I would be remiss if I didn't say that my nigga Keon has a clip on his YouTube page where he finally put it to rest, and he was laying on his back like Marvin Gaye, and he was like, "Girl, if I tell you I love you." Hey, hey, you were singing the Young One Twelve. No, such a cute Wait, I didn't. I didn't know you. See, I got to see the couple singing challenge. Hey, my boy, my boy got the smooth little, little, he like Kenny Lattimore, little brother Benny. He like Benny Lattimore. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Benny Lattimore. <laughs> okay, Keon, I'm going to just go to your YouTube and 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 I'm going to go not mind my business and try to find the singing it's video. Um, Lance, do you sing? Um, No, I'm like the worst singer. And okay. it's like, um, I sung goes on with the homies one time too. Okay. Um, a while ago, but you see the thing about it is, man, it's like 
I feel like I could sing sometimes, but it got to be like a specific song, and I got to be singing along with the song. Okay. Because when I do that, I feel like I sound just like this song. Okay. That's the best time. What song? I, I, what song I, I understand that, that 100%. Everybody got their go-tos that when you sing it with it, you be like, I, I'm this nigga. Like, I, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm like, yo, there ain't no real difference. I think is a real good singing country western song. I'm it with was, you, Diana G. I'm, I'm with Diana G as well. Nah, it's like Marvin Gaye. Like, I be feeling like I sound like Marvin. Okay, give us a little more. I got to hear it. Which song? It, nigga, what's going on to me is like the greatest album ever made. We'll sing it. Uh -huh. Mother, mother. There's far uh, too many of uh, uh, Never mind. Uh, it's too much. Uh, too much. Uh, and, and like when I'm singing Prince, like the beautiful ones, I feel like I'm oh, that nigga. Biggie said, brother, brother, yes. don't bother me with brutality, brother. Why are you okay? Brother, <laughs> let's get to what I know. Ty, Ty looks like a teacher who's just giving up. Like, all, I ain't, I ain't, ain't none of these niggas going to make it in life. I'm not teaching. I was just doing his bass in the background. That's all. <laughs> Like the bell rings at three. At three o'clock. <laughs> like, none of these kids know their daddy. Hey, They're not gonna hey. make them. I just thought my nigga Lance was gonna come in with like picky lines and picky signs. Yeah. Don't bother me with brutality. <laughs> come on, Lance, a lot. That's huh? not the words. Yeah, it's don't punish me, but yeah. don't worry about that. Oh no. <laughs> You know what threw me off is he said picket lines, and I was like, "Wait a minute!" It's picket signs. Yeah, <laughs> the, the words are the, the words are picket lines and picket signs. Right. He only heard the other part. Yeah. And then he said, "Don't bother me." Um. Well, yeah. come a time when the world won't be singing. Flowers won't grow, no, and no bells won't be ringing. Yeah. <laughs> Who really cares? Let him use your lance. Who is willing to try? Right. To save a world. That is destined <laughs> to die. Hey, Nikki hey, Jones. When I look <laughs> at the world, <laughs> it fills me with sorrow. Yes. Children today. Oh, really <laughs> suffer tomorrow. Let it go. Bring it home, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I need this laugh. Oh, so fucking bad. Oh, <laughs> God damn! Hey, <laughs> hey, you know what just happened? Hey, Keon, did you see what happened? Ooh, they heard that singing voice, and they was like, "Bitch, I'm about to be washing the nigga dishes." That's <laughs> all that happened. Um, Lance, I want you to know that Ugh. while I appreciate you very, oh, thank you, God. What happened? His Wi-Fi kicked him out. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lance, your singing, um caused us to God. drop from um, whatever number of likes we had to um, like 40. Uh, like people took their likes what away from What y'all know about her? Supermodel! Um, Fresh out of Ed Magazine! Buy her own bottles! Lip pimp juice I give it her Bad than a mother! That's the song! You a bad girl! 
They let me back up. Ooh, let me baby. That was just the way I like. Whoa, whoa, now it's happening. I just heard somebody who sounded like me singing. Oh, shit. Yeah, Lance. Wow. Uh, Echo, I think it, I don't know who it is. Ron. Uh, I think that's mine echoing. Is it? No. It was wrong. Did he sound off? Now he's sound off. Sideways, whatever. It's Ron. Oh, okay. That was weird. Or maybe Lance. Been Are you on two devices, <laughs> Ron? What happened? It was fine at first. No, I think he. Are you are you plugged in on two devices or? <clears throat> What'd you do different? You did. You was you not was like. Not like oh, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? How did it get like that? Because like it kicked like him it out kicked and then came back yeah, whenever whatever happened, it like kicked you out, and when you came back in, now it's echoing. So maybe you gotta leave again and come. Okay. Lance broke the internet. That's hilarious. I ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um. So Keon. What made it so uh, funny was nobody <laughs> asked. He just had that song in his heart. Like he just started going. So I think. Don't run the pressure, your baby. Yeah, for real, that's what they said. Lance broke the internet. Oh my god, that was so funny. Hey, lover. <sighs> what were you saying, Ty? I'm sorry. Um, uh, I, I was had to just gather. saying that I hate it here, <laughs> and um, this my might be my second uh, worst experience of hosting Zoom with the homies, and um. Oh. I want to be in the army party makes you come. Right in the end. This is a prize for him. Oh, 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 we got no money. Yo, we ain't got no money. John ain't about to join in. That's why you apologize. It's Prince, nigga. They always say you let go. I want to be. Hey, man. Man, I could. I'm sorry. It's Prince. Ty, you don't like Prince, Ty? Ty, you don't fuck with Prince? Let oh no! I absolutely, I absolutely fuck with Prince. I just don't fuck with y'all fucking with Prince. Um, <laughs> it looks like oh damn, it's not time to wrap this up. Uh, the bell they run. You got another class coming in at seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big old empty wow. Right, get it together. Let it down. I'm sorry, Ty. I guarantee you, yeah. Who who D Jones said they were? I guarantee you, that's wrong. for sure. Was one of the best yep. 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 We got a question. How What's many up? how many classroom pizza parties got ruined because of you specifically? None. Okay. I was being the person that got us. The pizza party because my teacher was great on a curve. So I would know behavior because that behavior always um, grades when it comes to pizza. They care more about how you act than if mm. you got C or A or B. If like they care the pizza about laugh, if you make the teacher laugh, she can't enforce that little rule. So my goal would be not to kill the class, kill the teacher. I understood how to read the room real quick. <laughs> But from fifth grade, I was killing the teacher. Oh, okay. His shirt off. Oh, do me, baby. Pause. Like you never go. Pause. his shirt off now? Because he's Keon, and them shirts got to come off. That's just, that's a part of the deal. That's the contract that I signed. You know what I'm saying? It's in it's in the clause. That got to oh, happen. Oh, you because you're about to serenade these ladies? Absolutely not. But, you know, it was just... You know, 
just a part of the game. You feel me? If we was the R and B group, he would be the nigga with his shirt on, uh, shirt open in all the group pictures. Yeah, oh, absolutely. If I was in a group, I would. I wouldn't even bring shirts to the concert for what? Oh, you walking out on stage without the shirt? What? You're the not even going. You're not even going to work up to the shirt off. Out the gate, water bottle for no reason, just for no reason. Out the gate. Hey, no you know notes. what niggas used to do in the nineties that used to always look nasty as fuck to me? You remember when the R and B singers used to pour the water in their mouth and then spit it out on the audience? Bruh, like why? Why? Yeah. I used to be like, why are people waiting on that mouth ring? That is nasty. Well, that's not gonna be happening post COVID. I can tell you that right now. Oh hell no. You yeah. can't even throw. Said, you can't even sip the water. Sometimes they would sip the water and then throw the rest <laughs> on people. You can't even do that. You can't do the towel wipe down. Throw it out there. Uh-huh. Take it, wipe that shit and then throw it in the audience. You gonna make That's a crop it. circle in that goddamn. Why was that hot to like get somebody sweat? Like what? Why, why was that hot? Why was that a thing? Like that was the prize. Like oh, you got gonna be like oh, oh baby. It, go to the home. <laughs> it ain't gonna be a person within six feet of that town. <laughs> shit, you know, you know, you know how crazy these people are. Concert, they be like, I'm vaccinated. And they gonna catch that shit. They ain't gonna care. <laughs> They are not going to care. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to care. Okay. Niggas, right. niggas didn't care this whole year. How do people did not care during it? In a year from now, they don't give a shit. So I got a question for y'all, right? So it's people that ain't took an AIDS test that they'd be like, I'm vaccinated. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a question for you guys. Um, Burning and breathing. So, I fucking hate it here. Um, and the only reason I have this question is because when I did uh, Damn Internet, You Scary with Tahir and Pat, um, was that last week or the week before? Anyway, whenever, when I did it, so many people has started to like say stuff about what was said. Has Have y'all taken like, like have, do you go back and look at like old episodes of Zooming with the Homies or if you've been a guest on other podcasts and read the comments and see what people say like or Squadcast or something like that and see what people say and they'd be like, yo, that's like hilarious because I watched Damn Internet You Scary Back a couple times and I was like, nigga, this is my new set. Like, do y'all do that or have y'all done that in this past year with, you know, the interacting on other people's um, platforms? Um, it, no, no. Mm-hmm. If, I don't, if I don't catch, if I don't catch what you're doing, like in the moment, then I just didn't see it. Nigga. Like, I, no, no, no. I think, I think she's asking about yourself. Kian. Yourself. Oh, absolutely not. Hell no. You don't watch yourself back. I hate the sound of my voice. I do <laughs> not like when I, when I have to listen to a setback to like to go over a new joke that I said, or yeah. whatever, I, I like, I don't want to do that. But you do. Uh, was well, that for work purposes, but like for this stuff, hell no. Nah. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, so like, cause some, cause a lot of people like were hitting me up and was like, "Yo, that story that you told about that," and I was like, "Hmm, okay." And so like, like this episode, I'm 100% gonna go and watch it back and mm-hmm. see how I let this happen because clearly I made a mistake. Um, <laughs> holding I myself accountable for what's Y'all happening see, here. <laughs> Y'all see heavyweight? She sound like Tony Perkins when the you kid guys- gained weight. She was like, oh. I am a narcissist. I love the sound of my own voice. I love going back and watching myself. Um, reading back the comments, people are mean. So you got to have a good skin when you read them comments. Okay, like tonight, like tonight, Ron. So like, let's say tomorrow or, you know, a couple days from now, you go back and you watch tonight zooming with the homies and you see you know people in the comments saying oh black ron when you told the story about this or when you said like the 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 dishes in your daddy's story like if people were like yo that was funny is that something that you'd be like hmm this might have legs and then like work that like <laughs> oh you don't do that okay so you're gonna throw it away so i can use it on stage now cool thanks i'm i'm not gonna do it tonight Cause I know the comments gassing me up, and they're gonna have me put out an R and B album, and I just ain't ready for that. 
Hey, all I'm saying is with a little bit of auto tune and the right beat. You know what I'm saying? I ain't ready for that responsibility yet. You know what I mean? Because I know all the comments is going to be saying. As the international, right. as the international sex symbol. You feel me? I already know what it's going to be, right? I already know. I already know it's all kind of panty emojis and all kind of stuff. And I just. Bro. The pressure. <laughs> the pressure to that right Bruh. now is, is just a lot for a nigga like me. You know what I'm saying? So I just rather like, hey, stay humble. You know what I mean? Keep God first. And, um, you know, just not get into okay. that R and B line. Oh, we're gonna need three hundred more likes. We're gonna need three hundred more likes because I know it's at least fifteen hundred people watching this. Oh, question. Um, yeah, because right now there's almost twelve hundred people watching, so we're like maybe eighty or ninety or so away from um having a thousand likes. So if you guys, if you haven't liked the video already, you don't even have to leave the video. You just have to leave the live chat, hit the like button, and then you can go right back to the live chat. Um, oh my God. Because we do love to hear, and we want him to continue to have, you know, he's never going to let me host again. You guys got me fired. So, I, I, um, I feel like I, no, I don't think so. You'll be back. You'll be back. I got sure. you fired. You'll be back, for sure. Between <laughs> Black Ron and Lance is singing, it's one of those two. It's de it's it's gonna be that for sure. Okay, so let me let me ask you a question, Todd. I'll be asking this question in all sincerity. When I'm singing, what does it sound like? Nails oh, on like the three hundred, Alex. Nails on that. a chalkboard. Yeah. Do you see the comments? Somebody said we the five off beats. I don't think that's a compliment. No, that oh, was wow. hilarious. Whoever said that, I feel like I feel like me and John A is being thrown under the bus when we like. I feel like we dropped thirty. And we was like, them niggas didn't play D. Like, why? Why am I? <laughs> <laughs> like, I know. I'm gonna be I felt like that too. Like this whole time, I was like, dang, are any of us gonna get to come back? Because like, like it was, our little, like, like, and then it was, was like, yo, it was really? love at like first sight. <laughs> but it's I like, know. <laughs> Oh, from the way she looked at me, bow, 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 bow. her eyes bow. it all. Oh, 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 <laughs> I'm glad you moved. That place is haunted. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, I thought you had flipped place. the table on purpose. That's, that's, why like, <laughs> that's why I was laughing. I thought hey. I was like, the hell with that shit. You better check. It might be a I did. I did. I did, yeah, but I overreacted it. I knocked my phone down. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got a serious question. Do any of y'all know about, like, as far as using StreamYard? Like, when you have technical issues with it, who do you contact? Oh, yeah, you contact Boom, and you say, I'm sorry. I want to come back. Because, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think there's something wrong. Every time I sing, StreamYard mutes my microphone. <laughs> and I'm assuming it's something wrong with the app. <laughs> Hmm. You want you um, anything about that, Ty? People said people said we acting like kids when they have a substitute, and I feel like I'm just laughing. For real, if y'all are here, y'all just don't know how much I needed. Y'all just don't know how much I needed y'all today, boy. Just, no, well, tell us why you needed us today, singing Stanley Gone. No, don't tell us it. Sing it to us. Don't you dare um, sing another this word. Is really? Don't you the dare. Um, this morning, my older brother was found dead at his house. That is very tough. And I'm my condolences with you and your family, brother. That is, that's some heavy shit. Man. I've just been over here just getting high, low key playing it off. But yeah, I appreciate y'all. For real, for real. This is, it's been a yeah, God bless you and your family, brother. That is, right. and we it goes without saying, but if you need us for anything, let us know. I don't know what 
what we can do in a time like this. And if this is doing something for you, then we're going to keep doing it. But if it's anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. No, nah, y'all good, man. Y'all good. Y'all good. I just needed this distraction. This is good. This is good as fuck. I don't know if I'm supposed to put my shirt back on or. <laughs> yeah, Keon. Yeah, Keon. Bring it back. Bring it back, Keon. Yeah. Yeah, Keon. Do I get dressed? Or... Yes, Keon. No, leave your fucking shirt off. Keon Poli. I, I fuck with you for that, boy. <laughs> boy, I fuck with you for that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cause I know I know he killed the mood like a bitch, but yeah, I, I was trying to. You didn't, no. Nah, but that's you know that's that shows you're a true, not just like take it away from being an artist professional. You're you're a man of your word. You you still showed up in spite of how you were feeling. All right. And everybody can't say that. You know, people. You know, and that, and it wouldn't be selfish if you weren't here. Yeah, and to, so, you know, to hear would have, you know, it. So, I think, I think too, know? it's a test. It's a test to like who he is, but like how, all right, like how we are as individuals. Like, I'm not gonna let this man. If he said this is being better, even though the mood got weird, I'm not gonna sit here and not make this nigga laugh. <laughs> right. If that's what we've been, if that's what we've been doing the whole time, right? And that's been you know therapeutic. Like, right. like, why be awkward? And it's just like, this nigga's having a great time trying to escape whatever it is for the moment. That's right. what we do on stage. We can go through shit all right. the time on stage. Yep. And when we yep. be like, but I got to do what I got to do. So I'm like, I'm not going to sit here and let my man go back to that shit when he can look for at real. these nipples. You know what I'm saying? Not saying he wants to look at the nipples, right. but I'm saying <laughs> the, the world, they out. You know what I'm saying? They out. They here. Do, do men have areolas? I think so. Everybody has know. areolas. Uh, my man, my man <laughs> can't even spell me yeah. nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I have nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? Uh, you know, like, nipples <laughs> for all reasons. Uh, I'm just a saying. nipple for all seasons. <laughs> my nigga got universal nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if this is okay, so, you know, if I could share a quick testimony, because I don't, you know, when you look at God and like, he'll just take anything in your life that is nothing and just make it blossom. Like, I was born with inverted nipples. <laughs> that ass. Hold, 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 hold. At least until I was like, at least I remember at least like middle school, like to the point where I just stopped looking. I don't even know when they popped out. What, what are oh, inverted nipples? Like, they were like, hear me out. Like, you know, when you wink, that's how my nipples look. How, like, how, so was I, it like pushed in? It was pitched, like pinched in like a wink. Like, no, the, like the, I had a... Like, like real tiny, like kind of like, you know, they was just sucked in. But then, I don't know. One day they just popped out and I don't know when, how, but like, I just take time and I'd be like, damn, my re God really came through. I don't like. So one, one day your titties hatched. <laughs> they did, yeah, but they were inverted for a good amount of my life. I had like, a what, girl. Like what age? What age? She had to bust them like nipples a like a pimple. Nipple. She had to come behind the nipple and squeeze it out. Like, like I was, a core you know, on a bump. She had to get the nipple out like a blackhead. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever attempt to do that? Did you try to squeeze it out? Like I know it's bad. I, I used to do little things like I must, I must, I must increase my lips. But that was like for the nipples and my actual breasts. Like it was both. It was for both. So uh, I do, would, girl, do girls really do teeth like growing like exercises? Huh? Do, gr do girls roast though? Would you get naked? I know it, guys. We just no. They evil. used to. I didn't even. How would they see my? Well, my sister, she did see him once at a doctor's appointment, and that's when I. That's when I saw it. Like I never even really noticed until she was like, "Wait, your nipples are, you know." <laughs> so that's when I found out. Come to find out, like, oh, they really not supposed to look like that. So you, know? you was you was on the free to nipple before it even became a hashtag. You was I like, have yeah. a nipple to free. Free to just in here with her own built-in nipple. <laughs> I be wondering how girls with inverted nipples breastfeed. The kids just go starving. Out. 
Oh, wow. This is crazy. Near the end of the show. <laughs> oh, you know, tell the teacher I was good, though, Miss Davis. Good. Tell the teacher Leave me a good know, I was good today. I was good. Hey, I was showing that because my video and my audio was flawless tonight. Maybe All right, so good. I feel like this was the Zooming with the Homies episode um, at Eastside High before Mr. Clark came. So let's uh, yeah, Eastside by your side, we'll sing and always praise the name. Oh, she got in on it. Yeah. You, just, you just had to hit her with something from her, from her era. That's what it was. Oh, Tyreka! Yo, the whole time, Ty was just mad because we wasn't singing none of her right. shit. That's what it was? Yeah. Like, that's all you had to say? Yeah, all y'all do is say we need to say something you bust with. We would have did it. <laughs> Talk, Tom waited to come in with that loyalty, loyalty. <laughs> and you can tell it was eating her. Um, she shook before. She was like. Yeah. <laughs> it was a reflex. Like, I didn't want She couldn't like, hold it. Just... it it's kind of like back that ass up. When it come on, you can't help but dance to it. Like it's like you can be anywhere. You won't, 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 won't. You're right. Yeah. That's a weird. Honestly, bro, that song is so weird when it comes to how. Like I understand when girls from our generation run out. What what what's crazy to me is how no matter the age, it could be seventy to fifteen. When that song, everybody everyone, remembers where they runs. was when Cash Money Records taking over for the nine, that nine, nine, nine. Even born. Like I, when I was working on cruise ships, they would play that on the ships, and these kids in their eighteen, you know, what I mean, are you know barely, and they would just run out there like they couldn't. Women cannot control it. They put something in that beat that's subliminal that's like shake your ass. Like, could they just? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Like you got to crazy. There is a woman, 21 years old, right now, celebrating her 21st birthday at the strip club with her new job at P Valley, and her mama conceived her to the same song she is dancing to right now, and that whole steel bang exactly as hard as it did when her mama got slutted out back in the 99 <laughs> on the floor. And she did oh, wait. Out um, <clears throat> So let's go Lance, uh, Keon, John A, and Black Ron uh, to close out and thank the people if they did. I hope, I sincerely hope that y'all Cash App, you know, did something because you guys were very performative this evening. Thank you. Performative. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me first did uh you know what man i thank all of y'all man this is a good time uh shout out you know our folks with all the yard a long way man so whenever we can just kick it like this is always a good time um shout out to d johnson young deuces jose martinez Brittany mc kiera um tat oh oh tanti tan oh ah Miss Roundtree. Shout out to Miss Roundtree and uh, the Baron Popcorn World. I might, I might have to, I might have to holler at you for some popcorn. I don't want no packages. I want, I want to, I want to buy some popcorn. I want to supply the streets of Sacramento with some popcorn world. So we'll talk on that. And um, yeah, make sure y'all follow me if y'all not already. If y'all on Instagram, it's Sir Lance Woods. And um, special shout out to my nigga Black Ron. You know what I mean. Um, it was a difficult time. We prayed for him and his family. And, um, yeah, thank y'all. Thank you, Lance. And who did I say was next? Keon or John? A? I can't remember. I wasn't listening. I'll be, I'll be 100% honest. Uh -huh. I said I wasn't listening when you was giving the clothes out, so I don't know who you said. You, no one's been listening to me the past two hours. <laughs> I've been listening because you are important. You are thank a black you. queen. You, you are your grace. I appreciate you, Moscato. Yeah. Me and you, we're here, sis. Yeah, I tell tell Mr. Moore I was very good today. I I will lose <laughs> her. You good? You good? I stayed after class, helped clean up, and everything. Yep. 
Keon, I'm please. You 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 were like in the middle. Of oh, okay. Then uh, I can't. I'm on my phone, so I can't see the thing. But thank you, everybody oh. who cash apped. Um, shout out to Tahir, who's not here for having us. And Ty, you did a wonderful job. You know, hosting the show. You know, what I mean, I did what I could. I clapped the erasers. You know, what I mean, I took the tra trash out. You know, I did what I could. I can't control everybody. You know, but I was here. Um, uh, promotion wise, I just, you know, uh, daddy issues with, uh, me, Tony Baker, Craig Wins, DC Irvin, Chaz Rogers drops every Thursday. Um, my Patreon, I got shows on there with me and my son. Uh, I got all the raw footage from Keon's all stars is on my Patreon. So y'all can see all the, all the uncut stuff, all the stuff we talked about behind, you know, that and, uh, June 24th, I'll be at Tommy T's in the Bay Area, one night only. But I got other shows in between, but this one I'm really, I want to sell this out. I'm coming home mm -hmm. to the Bay Area, June 24th, one night, Tommy T's. Get your tickets for that. And then, uh, yeah, and shout out to Ron for pulling up when he did not have to. And uh, God bless everybody, man. That's it. Yo, Kia. Yo. Thanks. Um, yo, was that Tommy T's in Pleasanton this weekend? Funniest shit in the world. If you haven't seen it, I'm gonna send it to you. I haven't seen it. It's in the, I'm, just, I'm about to send it to you now. All right. Okay. Well, thank you, Ty. You were great <laughs> tonight and every night. Thank you, Keon, Lance, Black Brown for the laughs, for the sing-alongs, you know, all of that. Uh, to hear, thank you for just creating this space. The moderators, thank y'all. Everybody in the chat, y'all kept alive. Um, thank you to LeBaron from Popcorn World. If you haven't tried it yet, come on, get your life. Sure. Brittany MP, Jose Martinez, Young Deuces, D Johnson, thank you so much. Um, you can catch me tonight. Actually, I'm getting ready to head over to Kings and Queens in Inglewood for a ladies night show. Um, tomorrow night, I'm sorry, Saturday um, night, I'll be down in San Diego at the Serenade R&B uh, Social. Um, and just stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram at John A. The Queen. That's where I post where I'm going to be the most. And yeah, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> I said your makeup was pretty yeah. bad, but I'm really loving the hair. So I, I wanted to tell you that too. Um, Black Thank Ron you. Aquarius. Uh, I can't see the things, but my, I tried to cut my notifications on so I can see it and it started mm -hmm. going crazy. So to everybody that sent a cash app, uh, shout out to y'all. Um, to, to hear more, uh, Kill them on tour, bro. Thank you for having me. Um, to Hippie Goes and the rest of the more mods. Thank y'all for doing y'all thing. To Tyreka, girl, you held it down. You already know I'm crazy as shit, and you 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 wrangle me. So you know what I'm saying. You can handle me, girl. You was a hell of a fire substitute teacher tonight. You know what I'm saying. Um, in any event, uh, be sure that y'all follow me on my social media. B L A Q R O N. Um, May the 19th, Houston, Texas, May the 26th, and we're in Richmond, Virginia. The 27th, we're in Virginia Beach, 28th, back in Richmond, 29th, we're in Baltimore. So, uh, DMV, Memorial Day weekend, I'm in your area. And then say hello to the newest Wild and Out influencer. Yeah, what's up? Season 16, let's go. So, um, I'll be in LA taping that soon. So, we'll be in the bubble. I won't be able to contact my people and everything like that. But, yeah, we're doing big things. Anyway, thank y'all for supporting me. And uh, thank y'all for watching this show, man. Keep supporting to hear more. He's a real one. Ron yeah. Queries. Ron Queries. You just going to say that part and not even – we we did, you should have said that earlier so we could have celebrated you a little more this evening for that. That was huge, what you just said. Yeah, man, but um, you know, I don't even know if I got in trouble right there saying that part right there. But um, just know that, yeah, as as the show progresses, you know, I, you know, I, I don't be giving a fuck. But um, um, as the show progresses, as things go on, you know, what I'm saying I am one of the newest um influencers of Wild and Out. So yeah, so um, follow my social media and shit, man, and support Nick Cannon and Wild and Out. We got some new shit coming. 
Well, listen, oh man, Keon's gone, where'd he go? Hopefully he comes back. Um, what can I say? Um, thank you to Lance, Black Ron, John A, and Keon um, for making this um, an experience. I did have fun. Um, I, as always, thank Tahir for trusting me. <laughs> I think that trust might be gone after this one, but um, for trusting me to, to host this show um, in his absence to the more moderators, listen, child, I be seeing y'all snatch comments so fast and I be like, dang, but well, what they had said, I want to see what they had said, but y'all be on it so much. So thank y'all so much. And hippie goals. Behind the scenes of this mechanism here, because I have no desire to learn how to use it whatsoever. So thank you so much for everything that you've done um, behind yeah. the scenes. You can do behind the scenes um, when uh, when we are guest hosting. So thank you for that as well. I do want to thank uh, uh, my cash apps. Here we go. All right, child. Um, D Johnson, Young Deuces. Jose Martinez, Brittany, uh, LeBaron, Miss One, Shanae or Chani. If I said it wrong, charge it to my head and not my heart, please. Uh, Walter, uh, LaRonda, and Larry. Uh, thank you all so much for your generous, <clears throat> excuse me, um, donations. Um, again, do not forget uh, that you are still able to watch more to the story. Um, damn internet, you scared and wording is harder. Um, episodes that have come out this week and today. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, child. Uh, my reefer <laughs> mm, just kicked in. Um, Won't do it. Like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the insomniac lounge tonight, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing that now. But you are the insomniac lounge. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I don't know if I'm doing that now. Because I'm high. I was going to do my show but until I got high. Oh, because mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I have an announcement. Well, to some of y'all that may not know, um, after uh, being away from radio for 14 months and losing um, my show due to COVID, I did return um, to radio. Um, yesterday, after 14 months, and I, um, I, that. And I, I, will, be on, I will be on air tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Time. My mom, I'm talking on the thing. It's a, I'm almost done. I'm wrapping it up. It's just a little loud. That's all. Now you can say your mom walked in on you. <laughs> what? Hey, Sarge. This is your night. Tonight, everything's gonna be. Uh, if Mama would have slid in with that ukulele tie, you know I would have. I would. I would. I would. You can't. No. You can't this type of stuff. Don't get the ukulele, Sarge. <laughs> Mama. I'll be at the funny bone. Um, I'll, I'll be at the funny bone. Um, this weekend. Uh, in Virginia Beach with Finesse Mitchell. Um, link in my bio for tickets if you're in that region. Um, and the weekend after that and the weekend following that, uh, Memorial Day weekend, I'll be uh, with uh, Kevin on stage and to hear more. Um, I... Throw your ass down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Mm. Ah! Oh, I can't back just in time. I'm right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 this show couldn't get any better if to, unless to here was to sign in right fucking now. That is the only way this show could get any greater. Um, I'll be on a DPLR radio tomorrow. You can just download. The app in your phone is uh, D T L R. You just it's free. Um, Bro, lay your ass down. down. <laughs> um, from, from ten a.m. to to one p.m. Um, <laughs> yeah, 10 to, you know, I don't know. Ten a.m. Yeah, to one p.m. Eastern time. Um, and then tomorrow, two shows, and then two shows Saturday, and then one Sunday at the Virginia Beach Funny Bone. And then um, I'm going on tour with Kevin and them and stuff. 
Um, yeah. Um, I, I, I'm done. Ty, Ty sounds like, remember, <laughs> remember, <laughs> remember oh. not even better when the grandma was talking and, and, and she was like, oh no, am I Douglas? <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream about me and Stone Phillips. Me and Stone Phillips went up in a hay barn and he threw me down on a batch of tobacco. And you know, Stone Phillips was the only white man to make me much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Congratulations, Ty, on your return to radio. Absolutely. And on everything. Y'all be sure y'all tune in to DTLR.com, man. DTLRradio.com. If you're on the East Coast, it's 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock, man. Y'all tune in to my girl, Ty. Get them fucking numbers up. Listen to her show. She be playing the jams and talking the shit. Listen to my girl. What What's what's the song that she be playing the most? Ron, sing it for us. She be playing oh, yeah, like, I knew you in. We had friends. 